Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you again today to pick up your uh, copy of God's Precious and Holy Word, your Bible, and turn with me over to the book of Matthew, chapter number 8. We'll be looking at verse 23 through verse 27 again today. And we'll finish our devotional series titled, Jesus Help, The Storm is Raging. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Uh, Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word. Well, amen. What a great way to get a brand new day started. A good fresh cup of hot coffee and finding hope in the pages of God's precious word. Hope that will light up this dark world. Well, friend, over in Luke's gospel, chapter number 8, beginning with verse 23, our scripture says, And when he, Jesus, was entered into a ship, His disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, a storm, insomuch that the ship was covered with waves, but he, the Lord, was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful? O ye of little faith. Then Jesus arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the seas obey him? And I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and his precious word today. Well, friend, uh, storms rage in this life. Uh, This life that we live, storms can come at any given moment. We've already learned that they can come suddenly, they can come unexpectedly, and they can be very fierce and rage as uh, they come into our lives. If you look at this text, the wave was already coming over the boat, and it was about to sink the boat. And then uh, yesterday, we learned that there's a specific message in the storm that may come our way. The message is this. The storm speaks to our human frailty. I mean, these men were overwhelmed. They were terrified. Uh, but there wasn't anything they could do about it, really. Uh, It speaks to our human inadequacy. Uh, They were at the mercy of the storm. And then it speaks to our human faithlessness. Uh, Whenever storms come, many times we get our eyes on the storm and we forget about our faith. And God doesn't want us to do that. Uh, Now, I believe that these men, uh, all they could see was the storm for a moment. But then one of them must have had little faith because they began to seek the Lord for help. They were perturbed with him. But uh, whenever they uh, had awakened to the Lord, uh, they kind of shouted, I believe, Carest or not that we're about to perish? Uh, And, of course, Jesus said, uh, why are you fearful, Uh, ye of little faith? Today, I want us to see that God is able to silence the storm. Now, you know, whenever we begin to think about this, uh, the disciples were on a ship with him. So they were in his will even though the storm came. He was present with them. Now, what does this mean? Storms say nothing about God's will or his presence. 
He's always present with the child of God in the midst of the storm. And it says nothing about his concern. Now let's look at the facts for just a moment. They question because he sleeps. I've never been able to sleep too much whenever there's a storm. But yet the master of the universe is lying in the ship and he's sleeping. So his concern, uh, obviously, uh, was not so much about the ship going down because he was able to rest. Now, if you look at the meaning of all that's going on here, his care is always sure. Friend, no matter what you may face in this life, or no matter what storm you may go through, God's care is always sure for the child of God. Now, his silence does not indicate unconcern. It says nothing about his ability. I mean, whenever you see that he gets up at the, at the request of his disciples and he just simply says, peace be still, that nature obeys his command immediately. And I'm sure that this amazed the disciples. Why? Well, why did nature obey him? Because he, my friend, is the creator of nature. He willed the peace. Words for the sake of the disciples. He didn't have to say a word. He could have just waved his hand and the storm would have stopped. But he said words, peace be still. He said that for the sake of the disciples. Now, let's look at the meaning of that. Options here. Was not time yet? Would not uh, have, have the ship gone down? Uh, would not uh, had would the storm not have ceased if if they had just continued to carry on? I remind you that these were sailors, many of them, and they were very talented and and they knew what they were doing when they were on the sea. But yet this storm was such a raging storm that it brought fear into their life. Some of the storms that come into our lives are such raging storms that it brings fear into our lives. Uh, I remember a little over a year ago when this uh, pandemic hit our nation and the world. Uh, many people began to run to and fro in fear and just uh, do things that was unheard of. Uh, you remember a year ago you couldn't find any toilet paper. You remember a year ago that there were certain items that you couldn't find. People panicked and uh, buying up all of the goods that they could, storing up things, uh, hoarding, really, if you stop and you think about it, because a storm came into our world. Uh, and it's been a terrible storm. I mean, when you stop and you look at all the lives that's been lost all over the world, it's been a terrible, terrible storm. But you see, storms cease, and they ceased through the hands of the maker of the world. Uh, God's going to do one of two things, one of three things, uh, if you stop and you think about it. Uh, either he's going to keep us as we go through the storm. Secondly, he's going to stop the storm. Or thirdly, he'll take us out of the storm. Now, that's just exactly what has happened if you stop and you think about it. Many of us have been blessed and we've been kept through this storm. Uh, Marta and I both suffered from this terrible virus back in October. And uh, it wasn't uh, an easy trip. But yet God sustained us and he took us through the storm. So he kept us in the storm and he took us through the storm. Uh, one day soon, he'll stop the storm. Many have been taken out of the storm. I mean, if I stop and I tell you, I've already, in the course of this one year, preached eight funerals of people who was taken out of the storm. Uh, and uh, the eight people that uh, was taken out of the storm 
Uh, I believe that they're in the presence of the Lord because they loved him. But uh, that, that belongs to God. I leave them in his hands. And uh, so they were taken out of the storm. I've suffered the loss of five good preacher brothers that I know personally. That They were taken out of the storm. And uh, friend, you and I that remain uh, in the storm, God will take us through the storm. And the day will come that God will stop the storm. And what a day that's going to be. So what do we learn from all of these things that we've been talking about? Storms of life come to show us what we really are. But the storm says nothing about critical issues. Are you in a storm today? I believe we can say that we are. Well, understand this. God is with you. He'll never leave you. If you're his, he'll never forsake you. He is concerned about you. And he'll keep you going through the storm, stop the storm, or he'll take you out of the storm. All we need to do is faith for the things that God's going to do. Thank God for his goodness. And thank God that at any given moment, we like the disciples can say, Jesus, help. The storm is raging. And soon, He'll say, peace, be still. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this powerful series of devotional messages. Jesus, help. The storm is raging. Help us, Lord, through the storm. Thank you for keeping us uh, as we go through the storm. Thank you for the day that will come whenever you'll cease the storm. And we praise you for those, Lord, that you've taken out of the storm for your purpose. Uh, you've given to those who've been taken out of this storm new life that will never cease because many sit in your presence. Oh God, help us be faithful to rely upon you to carry us through all of the storms of life. Thank you for reminding us that when the Lord's in the vessel, there's always hope. And thank you for your hope. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Well, friends, share the hope that lives within you today. Uh, your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And if you're struggling right now, just go ahead and shout, Jesus, help. The storm is raging. Have a great day.